Hey everybody, this is Joanne from Texas checking in on Sunday, June 30th for Phase 3, Day 9 or 10. Let me look. Hold on. Day 9. Uh, yesterday, I, I did a steak day and uh, had a tomato, and I ate a sirloin steak. And I didn't weigh it or anything, but I just ate uh, as much as I could possibly eat, and I drank as much water as I possibly could because um, I didn't check in for the day before. So let me back up. On Friday, I was... I think I did that. I was up 0.4. I was 0.6 above LIW. Saturday, I was up a pound. So that, I mean, have no clue. Up uh, 1.6 above LIW. So I decided that I better get this weight off of me before I go on vacation and have the extra fluid from fr flying and all that. And so, uh, I did a steak day yesterday, and I was down uh, 2.4 pounds today, and so that puts me uh, below LIW, so I am happy about that. And I need to eat the rest of my steak, because uh, my husband fixed two of them, because I didn't know what I would be able to eat, and I was only able to eat one, and so... I wanted to have the other today, but I didn't want to do another steak day, so I'm doing a modified protein day. It's it's not doesn't have anything to do with me losing more weight. Um, it's trying to get the water off of me and tr really and truly trying to use up the foods that I have before I leave to go on vacation. So anyway, because I feel like I'm um, holding on to uh, quite a bit of water. Uh, so I, I did take a water pill today, and uh, so that that's cool. Uh, I got my doctor's um, um, lab reports back, and for whatever reason, they didn't have my cholesterol and my you know, all that on there, which makes no sense because they always do. So, it, I mean, it must have been okay. I'm going to call them tomorrow before I leave. Nah, from the airport, probably. I guess. Uh, they, my, I felt like I have been having a bladder infection this whole time. And so they did a urinalysis and it came back ad abnormal. Uh, and so he said that he wants me to come back in and repeat. And, uh, of course, I looked it up on the Internet, and that's what they normally have to do. If it comes back abnormal, normal, they have to bring you back in for a repeat to see if uh, you have a, a bladder infection or, you know, something else. So uh, I won't be able to do that till I come back. So it's just going to have to be put off. And then, of course, my vitamin D level uh, was down, which I knew it would be because it has been. And then I got it up to our normal range, and the physician's assistant took me off of it, and now it's back down again. And so this time he wrote on there that he wants me to take it uh, forever. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, he just wants to give me the over-the-counter, though, so that's good. So, I'm already taking it. So, I just wasn't taking it regularly. And now that I know that I'm uh, that I'm down. And my thyroid test came back uh, fine. It came back normal. So, um, but the vitamin D level being that low, I kind of looked that up. And sometimes you can have, uh, like, night sweats, and I have been having those lately. And uh, you can have headaches, and, um, you know, I, I tend to have those. So, uh, anyway, 
Plus, it doesn't let your calcium absorb and your bones get brittle, uh, which I've had. I have bone density tests every year, and and mine um, were pretty bad when I first did it because I did not take anything when I was going through menopause, and so my and I don't drink milk, and my, so my bones were pretty bad, and now they've um, gotten to where they're uh, looking really good and back to normal. I was pre-osteoporosis, which I, there's a name for that, but I can't remember it. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Uh, they're good now. So, uh, anyway, I was so excited. The 2.4 pound uh, release this morning. That is crazy. So, uh, I'm happy with under LIW a little bit. It's not much. It's like 4 point, uh, like 0. 0.6 or 0. 0.8. So, that's that's cool. Uh, my little doggy is sad. She's very sad. Let's see if I can find her. There he is. Gracie. She's very, I think she knows something's going on. I think she senses it. And so uh, she's been very clinging to me uh, all day yesterday and, and today so um, poor little thing but my brother-in-law is going to come by and he's going to be here probably about three or four times uh, and then going to leave until uh, late at night so she'll be fine plus she's got her Xanax so she'll be cool uh, she does have anxiety though but um I'm getting so excited and a little anxious because last year, uh, like I said, I was 60 pounds heavier and I swelled and stayed swollen the whole trip and my poor little legs and my whole body was just tight. And so it was, it was a wonderful trip. I loved it. You know, even with me being that big, I still had a good time. And um, it, it had, you know, this year it's going to be different because I'm hoping I'm not going to as well. So anyway, I just wanted to tell all my friends out there that I will try to vlog and send some things back. Uh, I made sure that I had the in international package so I can go over there and not be charged an arm and leg for when I do connect. Uh, so I will try to do that. Uh, last year the Wi-Fi was hit or miss. It depending on what time you went to the lobby is where it was. So uh, we shall see. Anyway, I just wanted to say bye to everybody. And I will see y'all there. Or I'll see y'all when we get back. And I guess that's it. I don't have anything else. And uh, everybody take care. And uh, I'll check in sometime. Bye.